Hey guys, hope you all doing well. Today we are going to take you to Kyoto. Did you all know the capital of Japan was once Kyoto for a thousand years? Historically, the home of the emperor is considered the capital. Kyoto was the home of the emperor until his location moved to Tokyo in 1868. Even though it was no longer the capital, Kyoto remained the cultural center of the country. It did not take us long to feel the oldness and the charm the city holds with its ancient architecture, lanes and roads. Famous for many temples, forests, garden, this place has partner city arrangements with many cities around the world like Paris, Istanbul, Banaras, Qingdao. We were completely dazzled by the city. Watch till the end and you will know why. Our first destination in Kyoto was Fushimi Inari. It is an important Shinto shrine dedicated to the Shinto god of rice, Inari. This place is famous for its thousands of tori gates. Since foxes are believed to be Inari's messengers, one can see a lot of fox statues. Once you enter the shrine, there is a main hall where you can pay respect and pray. Behind the main hall is the entrance of the tori gates and the starting point of a 4 km of hiking trail. If you look at the map of Fushimi Inari, this is the starting point which is always heavily crowded but as you go up the crowd thins out and the number of gates also reduces this point is roughly halfway to the summit and where you get a beautiful view of the city there are two paths to reach the summit from this point along this path since the trail is not occupied much you get an ample scope to film yourself on an empty trail Further hiking brings you up to the summit and to hundreds of other smaller shrines. The complete hiking up and down takes about 2 to 3 hours. After a quick lunch, we headed towards Bamboo Forest. Took about 30 minutes from Fushimi Inari Taisha Shrine to get there. The forest is also known as Arashiyama Bamboo Grove, and it's mainly a walking path surrounded by bamboo on both sides. This place is one of the most photographed sites in Kyoto, as you can see. If you were in Kyoto and did not visit this place, you weren't really in Kyoto. Kakuji Temple was the third and final spot in Kyoto. This gold-plated structure is a Zen temple which was once a villa. It has undergone several restorations since it has been destroyed or burned down time and again throughout its history. No wonder why it's one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We found it strongly similar to the Golden Temple of Amritsar because of their gold-plated structures, location around the water, and their history that dates back to the 14th to 16th century. Kyoto has a lot to offer. Since we had only one day to explore the city, we could only cover these three iconic places. If only we had more time, we could enjoy more the ancient and rustic nature of the city that left us dazzled right off the bat. But great experience nevertheless. Next stop, Osaka.